Hello, today I'd like to talk about Economics 101, particularly prices, supply and demand. How prices are determined? If you take a course in Economics 101, they will tell you things about the supply and demand and show you a graph like this. Sincerely, I have no idea what this graph means mathematically. So, I'd like to tell you how I understand the relationship between prices, supply and demand. First, let's go to the definitions. What is supply? What is demand? Supply is the quantity of a certain product that is produced by a certain producer in a certain period of time. Demand is the quantity of a certain product that is sold or consumed in a certain period of time. In these definitions, both supply and demand are quantifiable, measurable numbers. Ideally, supply should be equal to demand, meaning that everything that is produced is consumed. What happens if supply exceeds demand? Too many products are being produced, resulting in a surplus. This surplus could be temporarily stored in a storage. What happens if demand exceeds supply? Consumers are buying more than is being produced. It means that they are not only buying what the producer is producing, but also buying what is in the storage, depleting the surplus. In this situation, what happens to prices? According to the principle of supply and demand, if demand exceeds supply, prices go up. If supply exceeds demand, prices go down. From this principle, we can conclude that if supply equals demand, prices remain stable. This is the basic relationship between prices, demand and supply. How do we represent th this mathematically? When we say that demand exceeds supply, we are also saying that the difference between demand and supply is a positive number. When we say that supply exceeds demand, we are also saying that the difference between demand and supply is a negative number. When we say that prices go up, mathematically we are saying that the derivative of prices over time is a positive number. When we say that prices go down, mathematically we are saying that the derivative of prices over time is a negative number. Let's call the difference between demand and supply as F, and let's call the derivative of prices over time as V. When we say that if demand exceeds supply, prices go up, we're also saying that F and V are both positive. When we say that if supply exceeds demand, prices go down, we're also saying that F and V are both negative. When we say that if supply equals demand, prices remain constant, we're also saying that F and V are both zero. The simplest mathematical model to represent this could be a straight line. 